Hello, Gemini. This is Joyce. It's Shadow by You Tarot with a little on y'all bringing you the Tarot Love Tea. And we are going to see what are the love messages for you guys today. I just read for, for yeah, for Libra. <laughs> and if you guys want to check out that video, if you are cross-watching for Libras here on YouTube, if you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe, guys. Give me that thumbs up. Share my videos. Comment down below and hit that notification bell so that you know each and every time I upload new videos and go live here on YouTube. So let's see. We're going to open up this reading with some Romance Angels and clarify with the tarot. I hope everyone is enjoying their day, their evening, their night. However it is for you on your part of the world. All right, Gemini in love. All right, playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. We have let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. And we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So, what I'm getting here, just off the top before I pull the tarot, is you guys need to lighten up a little bit. Alright? Don't be so heavy-handed in your conversations. Enjoy your time with your person, okay? Get advice from your friends with let your friends help you. But bring a more lighthearted approach to your person, your significant other, whoever this is that you're interested in. Get advice from your friends, your trusted, loyal compadres, you know, for giving and learning. You have to let go of past issues from other relationships. If someone has wronged you and they are sincerely sorry, forgive them. Give them the benefit of the doubt. Also, give them the opportunity to make things right. All right? Now, those energies can apply to you directly or the one you're dealing with. Just take it as it comes to you guys. So, we are going to pull from... The Gilded Tarot for some clarifying messages here. All right, Gemini. Some of you are reconciling with someone, and you guys need to keep it a little bit lighthearted, playful, and forgive that person for anything they've done in the past if you're going to be with them. We have the Page of Swords here. Someone's been spying due to a third party situation. If it's not a third party situation, just someone had a very hard breakup trying to still heal from a broken heart. And it just takes time. This is also about timing. But the page is the spy card. He's also a truth teller. He can be a little bit of a tattletale too. But someone's kind of watching the situation. Their heart is broken. They kind of want to keep things light. They don't want to get hurt again. It's sort of a, a self-preservation. You know, you want to protect your heart. So you want to joke around. You don't want the person to know how hurt you actually are. Some of you. And one more for playfulness. Ace of Pentacles. Pull another one. Eight of Swords. So, someone is considering making an offer of commitment here. That's for some, some of you. Others of you, I see two storylines. Others of you, you are married to this person and considering divorce. You want to kind of see how things play out because... It is on the table at this time, okay? 
and you're not sure what to do. This person really hurt you and caused a lot of confusion. There's a lot of confusion here, a lot of scattered thinking, a lot of scattered energy. Someone may be going through a nervous breakdown, okay, even. It's very hurtful and very difficult. This is affecting this person's mental well-being, the, their emotional stability for some of you. Whew. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. All right. Again, reconciliation. And we have here the King of Wands. So someone is very desirous of their person, of having them back. All right, but they want to kind of sit back and see if they can trust this person during a reconciliation. This person may have cheated on them, so they don't trust them. That's not for everybody. But there was some type of an element of a third party. It doesn't have to be a lover. It could be a job kept them away. Other things are just plain selfishness. All right, so some of you guys, you miss your person very, very much. It looks like there was a commitment here, whether you were married or not. And somebody wasn't satisfied in the connection. Now they want forgiveness. Now they want to come back and make things right. Somebody was taken for granted here. For forgiving and learning. We have the Two of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. So somebody wants to begin again on a new foot to restore balance. Somebody wasn't putting in their fair share in this relationship. Somebody was not participating in the relationship like the other one was, meaning somebody was putting more work into it than the other person. Well, that's all about to change. Somebody's ready to open up, show their love, and put in their effort. Yeah. Second chance here in love. All right. Let me see. We're going to pull some monology. I knew there was another oracle I wanted to pull. We have a fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries. So there's going to be a completion of a cycle, okay? Whether or not you guys stay together or not is up to you. The chance is there and there is an opportunity to fix things. So a final decision is going to be made. Are we going to get together or are we going to split up? We also have the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. I don't know if you can see that. So, Gemini, the answers you need are coming, whether intuitively or by someone, you know, a confidant of your person, a family member, whatever, but you are about to receive the answers that you need regarding this situation and I feel like you're going to get it intuitively truly that's what I feel but there is about to be the end of a cycle as another one approaches if you guys are going to work this out that means the beginning of a new cycle if you guys are going to split up that means the beginning of a new cycle so take it as you want but you got something new coming in all right and it's going to determine I mean it's not going to determine you have free will and it's up to you how these chips fall okay I'm gonna use 
the steampunk tarot to clarify these two moonology cards here. Why do my cards want to be all fouilleed right now? All right, we have the Queen of Wands, Sagittarius Energy. Whoop. A fiery climax approaches. Fire sign with a fiery climax. So somebody's going to stay in their ground, stay in their power, not take no shit. All right? For those of you, and I feel like mainly the majority of you guys, are going to work it out with your person or try to. You're going to try to make the reconciliation work out. All right? However, there's going to be boundaries here. There's going to be rules to follow. And if somebody doesn't do that and doesn't prove their value and worth in this situation and doesn't pull their weight and doesn't show up for the relationship, well... Guess who's going to say adios, amigos? Take a wild guess. You know, so if you plan on doing the right thing, it'll work out. But somebody's had enough of the bullshit. I could tell you that right now. So, either you're in or you're not. There's no happy medium. All right. Spirit, please clarify. Full moon and Gemini. For Gemini. Clarify the full moon in Gemini for Gemini. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Well, 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 babes. So, somebody... Hmm... We've got two queens here facing each other. The answers you need are coming. Well, look out. There she is. Somebody wanted to know if their person was in a third party, and there's your third party. Mm-hmm. Doesn't matter if the third party is the pentacles or the wands. There's one too many people in this equation. Somebody was the side piece. Somebody was the commitment. Guess what? We only got room for one mode. Not two. One. Yeah. This is coming to the truth here. The truth is coming out, friends. So, fun and games is over. It's about to hit the shit. I'm telling you right now. Shit's going to hit the fan. Literally. Look, hit the fan, boo. She got a fan in her hand. And it's about to get hit. Upside her head with this woman here on this horse with this riding crop she's about to beat the shit out of that little girl with the fan I can tell you that right now about to get it girl <laughs> but seriously y'all yeah that's not for everybody but there's a good bunch of you somebody been pissing around doing the wrong shit y'all about to get busted so, you know, start your begging routine now if you want your person back and start kissing some serious ass because you're about to get your ass kicked. Whoever this is for, either you or your person, somebody's about to get it. Truth is coming out. Now, I'm not going to say that rules out reconciliation. No, I'm not saying that. You better be a smooth talking somebody. That's all I got to tell y'all. Or your person needs to be. Because somebody about to get it. <laughs> They're going to be in trouble whether or not you want to reconcile. Okay? There may be, I don't know how, but there may be some kind of valid reason somebody did this, which I don't 
see what that could possibly be. But I don't know, you guys. Y'all have your own shit, your own situations. Y'all know what this is about. I'm not there. I'm not living your life. I don't know. And no, I don't care. I'm just here to give you the message, okay? Because you care. You care about what happens in your life. I'm not there to know the details of the why, of the what, of the woo. I tell you what spirit gives me, y'all. Y'all take it and run. Do what you got to do with it. Lord have mercy. I do. Mm -mm, I don't dig and go down with no damn third party nut. And ain't no three shit. It's me and you and that's all, friend. And if, oh my God. Whoo. I would just, I, I just soon get the shovel out of the shed right now. Get the shovel out of the shed, y'all. Because damn, the shit's getting deep. All right, Gemini. That was different. Okay, so let me know if it resonates down below. And whew, I hope I see y'all soon. I hope y'all stay safe with all this situation. And <laughs> okay, until next time. Bye-bye for now.